Welcome back everyone to Rogue Legacy! I think I just figured out what annoys me about this game. Unlike every single other roguelike I have played... Oh, Lady Stephanie, the assassin. Mistform, that seems cool. Unlike every other roguelike, which kind of starts every single character you ever play on it on a completely even playing field, this one you can only do good at if you play through the game several hundred times, get all the different upgrades you need to increase your chances of survival, and then go back into it. I think I'm going to increase my gold gain up. Because with that, I can bolster the amount of gold I get, and get even more gold in future playthroughs. I would love to get that piece of chest plate though, so I could get either the square chest plate, uh, which will increase my armor by 9, or the blood chest plate, which will decrease my health, but increase my armor by 14. Unfortunately, it's a bit heavy though, but it seems pretty worth it because that is... Oh, it gives me vampirism as well. Unfortunately, it's a bit too heavy. So what I might need to do is, can I go back and purchase my equipment slots? Yes, no. So, if I, say, de-equip my helm. No, no, not my helm. I like my helm. If I de-equip my night limbs and then equip my blood mail, then I've got the perfect opportunity to not take any damage in future. I've also, my armor is also uh, shining red. I am completely mismatched. I look ridiculous. Unfortunately, that's the penalty for playing through this game. Since I'm an assassin, I've got the ability to go into mist form. So how about I try that? That eats up my mana. But that's kind of cool at least. It's cool to see. So how about I go around getting attacked by absolutely everything with a pulse. And do not good at this at all. I kind of want to play another miner. So I can go around. Getting even more gold. I should get 15 gold, that's a tidy 50% increase to the amount of gold I get per run, and that is just too generous an offer to pass up. Come at me. You wish you didn't come at me. Run back this way, collect the gold, then head back this way, and just laugh at the spikes who have no ability to hit us. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about my ability now. And this vampiric chest plate actually gives me health back as I kill things. That is so insanely useful. I can't think of anything better than that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if my maximum health is reduced. I get my health back as I attack other things. This is going to dramatically increase my survivability. Due to the scarcity, do I want to replace scythes with iron? Yes. Conflux iron balls are much better than... Well, they were before I wasted all... ...of my mana and can no longer cast it. Alright, I don't want to kill that, because that's obviously something I need to climb. Come on, just die everything. Thank you. Now... Tidally climb... Oh no! Come down here. Wonderful. Yay! I knew it. I knew that there was going to be a chest up there to reward me for my diligence in keeping it alive. Now it must die! And 
now I've already got a big stack of gold already waiting for me to go back and spend it. Yep, that's the forest. That's still a bit too tough for us to deal with, so we'll ignore it for now. We still want to stay in the castle because we're currently not strong enough to deal with monsters which can still hit us and just destroy us in one hit. My ability to avoid is not that great, especially considering the amount of gold is comparable to the amount of gold I get here. Well, the Infernite killed us. We do have enough gold to get something awesome, though. So useless, this shinobi. Nearsighted boldness. Yeah. Lady Shanra, the shinobi. Irritable bowel syndrome and chakra. I can't imagine IBS would be too much of a detriment. What should... yeah, I should purchase equipment up now that I've got the ability to equip more items. Let's increase our attack so we can kill things a bit faster. And this is looking wonderful! So... yeah. Now I can equip some of the other stuff I've got. Alright, now at least I'm not as mismatched as before. I still look kind of ridiculous, this kind of green-red thing I've got going on, but whatever. Sprint rune. Curse rune. Harder enemies, but greater rewards. Enemies are harder. Do I want to do that? No, the enemies are defeating me enough as it is. I think getting the double jump rune is going to be really useful just because charming very charming just because I came across that fairy rune which required me to take no damage but was clearly designed to have double jumping As usual, I'm able to drain the health of my enemies as I continue pummeling them into submission. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Guess I'm just not paying as much attention as I should this run through. There's a treasure chest up there. Let's see if we can go nab it real quick. I didn't even know you were demon chest. There's a distressing lack of unique rooms and fantastic treasure. Hey, what's this? I thought so. Secret walls, you sneaky, sneaky little game devil. Maybe that's what I need to keep an eye open for. Hello, Infernite. You killed my mother. Prepare to die. And now you, Eyeball, prepare to die because I just don't really like you. And everything you stand for. Yep, that gold upgrade was totally worth it. It's the most valuable thing I managed to get. <clears throat> Journal entry number five. I cannot exit through the front gate, but that's of little concern. I'm committed to my course and will not back out. So far, none of the maps I've found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I believe I've unearthed a slight pattern. Since the forest is always to the right, the tower above and below will help that I won't have to find out. 
So it looks like whatever's beneath us is the most dangerous and deadly of all the dungeon paths. No jumping. Alright, well it looks like I need to approach this from the top. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. So let's just ignore that. Some of those fairy chest objectives are just useless. They all seem to have some sort of rune in them. And although the runes are useful, I'm not going to risk my life for them, considering gold is a little bit more useful than runes at the moment. Even if I do give a lot of it away to Mr. Death. I see if I, um... This character has got IBS, Irritable Bowel Syndrome, and one of her flatulence jumps causes her to jump a little bit higher than normal, which is kind of cool, I guess. Even if it's a little bit immature. I mean, seriously, guys. Just grow up already. Grow up, you two. Alright, defeating all the enemies in the room, I believe I can do something like that. Especially since I'm a shinobi and killing things is my... Whoa! Look at all the bones! Whoa! I wasn't paying attention to what was there and I jumped straight into a flame locks fire thing. I would like to collect more of those chests though. No, I'm not going Vertigo and I'm not going Dwarfism. So it looks like Lady Antoinette, you're the one I'm going to go for this time. Don't think I've got enough golds to purchase anything useful. I've got haggle, but not sure if that's going to be terribly useful at the moment. I'm not actually collecting all that much gold. So it'll only say and I'm always spending all my gold before I go into the dungeon anyway, so. Yeah, I'll I'll be happy the way I am. that's begging to be upgraded. Let's just increase our fundamentals for a while. If I increase those, then naturally I'm going to get much stronger. Got nothing there. Do I still have my... Yes, I've still got my double jump room, so I guess it's not that useless. Onward and upward. So I've got fireball, spike ball, and axe. I'll keep my axe out at the moment since axe and, and that eyeball is still defeated. Take that eyeball. So fantastic, I don't need to defeat it anymore. Although he wasn't that difficult, I could probably do it again if the game asked me to or wanted me to, but whatever. With the eyeball defeated, I feel a little bit more confident in defeating the mini bosses in this place. Let's not take any damage or try to avoid the damage. And if we do get hurt. We'll just calmly go around getting all of our magic back. And health back by attacking things with our fantastic vampirism trait given to us by our armor. Take no damage. Alright, I think I can achieve this by going over here, then killing the enemies one after another. 
Alright, over here seems to be the safest place, so if I jump up ooh, like this. Nope. Stuffed it up. Alright, game. I should have threw my spike balls around. I could have done it if I did that. Just not thinking. This is why this series is dragging out. I'm just so bad at it that it feels like filler episodes when I go around dying over and over again without unlocking anything of note. Uh, although this game is so much fun, I just love playing it over and over again. Well, I'm not sure exactly what I accomplished that time, but I guess I'm going to call a break here. As usual, thanks for watching everyone. Join me next time when I continue to play Rogue Legacy and hopefully something awesome will happen. Goodbye for now.